fist in the neck. Soldier. All right, look, hit the sub button, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell. You understand me? Subscribe to my channel, join this Fisk Unit Army, and get Fisk Unit tough. Now, before I get to today's message, okay, we got to speak on Quentin Johnson. Before we do that, my condolences to Julius Randle. I am a Knicks fan, okay? I don't cover the Knicks on the channel yet. Playoff time, I'm doing Knicks videos. Y'all can kiss my ass if you don't like it. All right, we expanding the channel for the playoffs. I will be doing Knicks content for the playoffs. But shout out to Julius Randle. Dang it. We, us as Knicks fans, we can't have nice things. Why we can't have nice things, man? We two weeks from the playoffs are crying out loud. Okay. Now that I got that out my system, I got to say something, and it's going to be controversial. I I hope y'all sitting down. All right. I, I hope you hold on tight to something. Woo side, hold your ears like Martin and Will Smith. Do whatever you got to do because this is controversial. I don't think Quentin Johnson that good, bro. I, 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 upon further review, upon reading other people draft analysis and just me going and watching some stuff on him, I'm going to keep it a buck 50 with you. I don't want the headache. I don't want the headache. You see, those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. I'm going to say it again. Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Today's message is about moving on. It's about moving on from things you don't like. You know what I don't like? I don't like drop balls. I don't like inconsistency. I don't like not being able to depend on a wide receiver when it matters the most. And those are the vibes that I'm getting from Quentin Johnson. So move on. I'm going to keep it a buck fifty. I understand they had dinner with the kid. I understand he wants to be in blue. And I wanted him at a time. But like I said, I was knee deep in free agency. I wasn't watching these kids. I wasn't. I, I didn't care about the draft. Because guess what, Giants fans? We don't have a top five pick. Because we were actually good last year. So for the first time in years, free agency was more important to us than the draft was. Because we got the 25th pick. So it just who really cares? It's a 25th pick. Who knows what we're getting to pick 25? It's not like, oh, snap, are we going to get Trish DeWurst or Andrew Thomas? Oh, snap, are we taking take Saquon Barkley or Sam Darnold? Oh, snap, are we taking Daniel Jones or Dwayne Haskins? I don't know what's going to be there at 25, so I quite frankly don't really care. But now that I'm into the draft and I'm watching these receivers and I'm about to start looking at cornerback because I think we might go corner. I got a, I got a, I got a bad feeling that we might take a corner at 25, but that's a video for another day. This kid drops a lot of balls. I'm just being honest with you. Quinn Johnson on some Darius Slayton vibes right now, and that's not good. We, we already got Darius Slayton. He's going to be the dude who dropped balls that we forgive, just like Mario Manningham. Mario Manningham, for those of y'all who don't remember, he dropped a lot of balls. Now, he didn't, drop, he didn't drop a lot of balls in the playoff run, but prior to the playoff run, he was looking like Darius Slayton on some of them, them deep routes that he would drop. All right? We forgave Manningham. That was just the receiver who was going to drop balls. Now we got Darius Slayton. He's just the receiver that's going to drop balls. It is what it is. We don't need another one. You can't have two. When we have Mario Manahan dropping balls, we had Hakeem Nix monster, Victor Cruz monster. So, we, we you know, we, it, it wasn't that important. Ain't no Hakeem Nix and Victor Cruz on this team to offset the slate and drops. They, 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 they're not there. So, you get a guy like Quentin Johnson, right? He's not a solid route runner. He's just not. He's a big guy who doesn't catch well. He, he doesn't catch well contested like normally when you're a big dude like that your job is to, to make contested catches his contested catches aren't on point like that he's a big play guy he's explosive with the ball in his hands but let's call it what it is he's not a polished receiver he is a project the Giants don't need a project the Giants need a sure thing Quentin Johnson is a project 
he can be, can he become DK Metcalf? Sure. Sure, he could become DK Metcalf. Do the Giants have time to wait two or three years for him to become DK Metcalf? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. His pro day, he runs a four five. You know, I'm not. I don't really care about forties that much. But if you're if you're inconsistent with your hands and you're not the most polished route runner, at least blow me away with the athleticism. You know what I'm saying? At least blow me away with the athleticism. He didn't do that. So Giants fans, this is controversial, and I'm sure I'm gonna catch some smoke in the comment section for this. But there are wide receivers that are better than him. Jordan Addison is is better than him. The Nigba kid is better than him, even though Nigba can only play in the slot. He's better than him. I get it. He, the, 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 he's hyped up. Everybody's hyping up the TCU kid, Quentin Johnson, mock drafts, and all this other stuff. I get it. But when you come to my channel, when Fitz Vegas give you the medicine, when I give you the medicine, I. I'm doing it for your own good. It's going to taste nasty going down. You're going to feel better later. When I when I give you and I preach these sermons, when I give you this word, it's hell, fire, brimstone. And every now and again, you get a glimpse of heaven. You can't have heaven without hell. You don't understand what I'm saying? So not every not everything going to be peaches and cream. Not everything going to be strawberry shortcakes and, and, and root beer floats. It's not going to be all sweet over here. Every now and again, I got to give you the harsh reality. And the harsh reality of the situation is I don't want him. I don't want him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how else to tell you. I, I'm i tired of inconsistent receivers, bro. We dealt with Evan Ingram. We done dealt with Darius Slayton. We had to deal with Ruben Randall. Like, uh, enough. 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 Uh, 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 enough is enough, man. Enough is enough. Richie James dropped that ball versus Minnesota. Like, it's just like Darius Slayton dropped versus Minnesota. Speaking of drops, it's just like, yo, like, why would we why why would we continue to deal with the headache? The topic of the message that I said a few minutes ago was the message is to move on. Move on from the headache. Move on from the heartache. Move on from the anxiety that is inconsistent wide receiver play. If you're going to take a wide receiver at 25, get a polished guy who you could depend on day one. Point blank period in the discussion. I ain't got nothing else to say. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.